We are Davy and Sky, and hello from one of the most beautiful places to visit in Europe, the Dolomites. This is the Dolomites. The Dolomites are a massive mountain range in the Italian Alps that stretch across three different regions, and it has some of the most dramatic alpine landscapes that you will experience anywhere in the world. And we cannot believe that we are here today. We are actually here in partnership with Viator, which is a tour company. We're going to tell you a little bit more about them. Viator is a leading marketplace for travel experiences that believe making memories is what travel is all about. They have hundreds of thousands of experiences to choose from that fit every traveler all over the world. Booking with them is easy, flexible, they have quality tours, their support system is fantastic, and they just want to make sure that you have an experience to remember. We were visiting Venice and uh, looked up on Viator what we could do around the area and found out we could go to the Dolomites. <laughs> So we booked it. It's incredible. We booked it. The tour operator was in contact with us directly right away about the pickup location. And this morning, we got picked up in Venice and began our adventure to the Dolomites. Uh, three, three, and two in front. We just drove about two hours in a very comfortable van with uh, Stefina, who is our tour guide for the day. She's local tour guide. Um, she lives not far from this area. And the first stop of the day is this beautiful, beautiful location. It's actually so beautiful that it's nicknamed the Queen of the Dolomites. This is Cortina and Pezzo. And this is actually gonna be where the 2026 Winter Olympics take place. So between here and Milan is absolutely fantastic. It's known for hiking in the summertime and of course skiing in the wintertime. Uh, Stefania actually told us that her daughter skis here. She's on a ski team. She won regional championship or something last yeah. year. <laughs> like she just like casually has a ski champion. But I mean, how could you not love skiing with this in your back? Yeah. This place is gorgeous. Absolutely Everywhere you look, stunning. we're just surrounded by a mountain. I can't believe this is so close to Venice. Yeah. And this was so accessible for us to like get here. I'm mind blown. Also, what I really like about the van is that she has like a little headpiece that yeah. everybody in the van can hear her, which is awesome. This little town is so picturesque and cute. I can only imagine how beautiful it is in the middle of the ski resort season. Totally transformed under a blanket of snow. How you doing, buddy? Never enough time. <laughs> this is never enough time. We, we could live here. Hey. Yes, we could. If you <laughs> want to rewatch the cliffhanger movie, <laughs> this building is the petrol station. One, three, 13 minutes of the movie. Okay. I'm not sure what the lake is called, but uh, it is a stunning. There's some people skating out here. There's mountains all around us. It's hey. frozen and it has this like bluish, greenish tinge to it. People are skating and playing hockey. And, and uh, David's in a dress shirt. Okay, well the van is like really, really hot <laughs> and everybody's freezing and Skylar's in sandals. I don't have any other footwear. You're in shoebies right now. This is Stefania, she is the owner and operator of this beautiful tour today and this is going to be one of our stops along the day and can you tell us a bit about what we are looking at behind us? You can see here the three peaks of Lavaredo is the symbol of the Dolomites, it's part of our itinerary and we will stop also in Lake Braes and is one of the beautiful lakes in Italy. She was telling us too that this past summer did you say you took a helicopter there, up yes. and around, oh my goodness. Yes. As Exactly. We flew around the three peaks of Lavaredo and uh, we flew up uh, Cortina d'Ampezzo, we call the Queen of the Dolomites. How many years have you been offering this tour? I offer this tour um, six, seven years, uh, since six, seven years. She's Ro been absolutely fantastic, telling us so many facts along the way and we're only like partial way into our day. We have many more hours with you, so thank you. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Our 
next stop and the biggest stop of the day, so we have two hours here, is Lake Brias. And this is one of the most beautiful lakes in all of Italy. It's actually the largest lake within the Dolomites. It's 40 meters deep, 140 meters long. There's hiking trails that go right around the lake. And it has this blue turquoise color due to limestone and glacial rock within the lake. It's kind of like a Canada's Lake Louise with the turquoise waters and a hotel there. So it's quite touristy, but it's big enough that we still feel like we have it all to ourselves and we have two hours here so we're gonna kind of explore around and there's a cafe over there as well might grab a little bite to eat but honestly we're just eating up this view <laughs> Side Lake Brias is a restaurant and cafe. It's called Emma's and you can go in and there's like tons of different food options. I was actually way too overwhelmed. So I just asked the chef to choose his favorites. He started off with corn, like a corn mash, and then was like, do you like cheese? And I'm like, yeah, of course. Threw some cheese on it, some mushrooms and vegetables. And then this one is like a goulash. I think it's pork with rice and cabbage. Very warm and comforting and we're sitting outside in this absolute postcard location it's incredible oh and an americano from me can't drink any liquids I know. <laughs> don't want to pee that's the one thing watch your liquids if you're going on a van tour we have learned <laughs> barcelona bus bed stop the bus okay i have stopped the bus I <laughs> been showing us so many beautiful views like literally I could just sit in the van and take these sights in but she's stopping at some just jaw-dropping spots apparently in the summertime if you take this tour you can actually take the road further up right up to the top there but it's closed in the winter time so right now we can't but I mean I still get the amazing view I believe we were looking at that from the other side earlier today <laughs> Officially, I think this is our last stop. We are just back in Cortina, heading back to Venice. Okay, thank, thank you so much. Thank you. A <laughs> good uh, trip to yes, Switzerland. Good. Okay, and, yes. Go. And we'll definitely write a good review. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay, bye. Thank you so Ciao, much. Bye. And that's the end of our day. That what was an a day. Class. Oh my gosh. I can't Amazing. believe that we just experienced that in that many hours. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much to Stefania for an absolute beautiful tour of the Dolomites. We had such, I can't believe all the photos that we took. Like we took oh, I can't, I can't a wait to look billion at photos. <laughs> everything was so picturesque. The information that we received from somebody that just lives here locally and that loves the area and loves showing us all the sites. Thank you so much to Viator for having amazing experiences and tours available all over the world. I already cannot wait for our next trip to check out Viator and to see what tour we can go on next time. Just like unique experiences that we never would have found on our own and we found it through Viator. So yeah. See you next time. <laughs> see you next time. Bye. Bye.